Hello friends, today we would be looking at the sequence object in SQL Server, right? So as per as per our format, we would see you know today's agenda would be what is a sequence object and some uh, practical demo. Okay, so let us see first of all just understand in basic you know in brief what is a sequence object. So sequence is nothing but a user defined schema bound object that generates a sequence of numeric values right so it basically is nothing but you know it actually depending upon the configuration it will keep creating your next sequence value so it will generate a sequence value now this sequence can be generated either in ascending order or descending order also it's you uh, know it's not mandatory that it should be in an ascending order only it can generate in ascending order or descending order Sequence can also be restarted if you require, you know, depending upon the business requirement, if that sequence needs to be restarted, then uh, it, uh, much, it's much possible to restart the sequence. And unlike identity columns, they are not associated with a specific table. So basically, if you know, if you have worked with an identity columns, then each identity column is basically as associated with a specific tables. But in case of sequence, it is on a database levels, right? So basically, when you create a sequence, and if you attach that sequence to two different tables, then each table will have a unique values, right? Each table uh, will have the unique value from that sequence. So for example, you know, one and two sequence generated, if new rows are inserted in table 1 then 1 2 would be allocated to table 1 then after if new rows are generated in table 2 then 3 4 would be allocated to that table correct so basically it is not dependent on any specific tables but it is uh, as a whole on a database let's move ahead so uh, sequence can be generated uh, you know uh, on the following data types and uh, these are their ranges so for example it can be generated on tiny integer small integer integer and big integer okay so for if you if you sorry if you are specifying uh, on a tiny integer if you are specifying data type as a tiny integer right then you uh, you can generate a sequence from 0 to 255 similarly for small integer from minus 3 to 7 6 8 to 3 to 7 6 7 for integer this is the value and for big integer this is the value got the point let's move ahead okay so basic syntax for sequence is a create sequence then with a schema a sequence name right and then you need to you know uh, say as and then a start with increment by start with means what number you want to start with increment by how many uh, you know uh, numbers you want to increment by it can be one two three four and so on what what should be a minimum value what should be a maximum value whether you want to cycle or you know no cycle by default it is no cycle right and whether you want to cache it okay let we would we would surely look into each and every this uh, you know uh, parameter okay so let us move ahead so yes so input parameters of the sequence are start with so basically you know starting value of a sequence so you can specify the starting value of the sequence increment by so you can you know uh, specify with what value you need to increment that is by one by two by three by four and so on minimum value uh, right optional it is an optional value specifies minimum value right if you if you specify that's okay if you don't then default is the minimum value of the data type being used so for example if we see uh, if a tiny integer is there then you know the minimum value you can specify is zero similarly with the small integer it is minus three two seven six seven or seven six eight right and maximum value is also optional it specifies maximum value uh, uh, it specifies the maximum value until what you want to generate a sequence and if if you don't specify anything then default is the maximum value of the data type being used so again here if you are using a tiny integer then 255 if you are using a small integer then 32767 and so on okay then comes a, a cycle right uh, so what is a cycle default is no cycle so if you if you spe if you don't specify anything then it will you know uh, default is no cycle uh, what that means is <clears throat> that once you reach to a maximum value incrementing uh, the values once you reach to a maximum value and then after you, if you will try to generate a sequence then it will actually error out okay it will provide an error that maximum value has been reached but if you specify cycle then again it will start from the 
uh, whatever you know uh, depending upon the, your configuration or setting of the parameter so it will again start from mix max min value okay and what is cash a cache is used for uh, you know for performance default is no cache right so for example if a cache size of 50 is chosen then sql server does not keep 50 individual values cache it only catches the current value plus whatever is been left into the cache okay now one main disadvantage of cache is that if you have went with a cache option right then an, if any unexpected shutdown uh, like a power failure or anything else happens right then your sequence number you know you might lose those sequence number right so you might because cash you know with a shutdown of restarting of machine your cash value would go away so you might lose those sequence number okay so this was basically a brief uh, you know uh, about the sequence so let us let us see uh, something in demo uh, let me let me get my uh, management studio onto the screen okay so now you know uh, this is my management studio and let me you know remove the database first if 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 it all exist right okay i need to go to the master and then remove it so database is removed i am creating a new database again right and using that database okay now as we told right see this is this is the basic uh, syntax of a sequence create sequence and the sequence name right as integer so we are specifying on what data type you know what type of uh, uh, what data type you want to use for this sequence then we are specifying start with one increment by one minimum value one and maximum value two ten thousand and we have also specified cycle and cache is 20 okay so what this sequence means that it will start with one it will increment by one minimum value should be used as one and it will go until maximum value that is thousand so after thousand it will again start with one okay and at a point at a time it can catch 20 for you know for performance uh, uh, improvement like for performance it will catch 20 uh, and depending upon that it will generate it will keep generating a sequence number okay so let us let us create this uh, now you can see this is in ascending order because we are starting from one incrementing by one and then uh, maximum value until 10,000 so now if you query this right if you execute this select statement you can say you, you can see here select star from sys dot sequence okay sorry uh, this is we just to you know check how the sequence is created right so this is a metadata uh, table called sys dot sequences where you can you can see uh, what what sequence is being created so you can see uh, sequence name right uh, object id right then uh, you can see here a start value okay then an increment value a minimum value and maximum value and all the parameters like it's is cycling yes is cached yes what is the cache size 20 right and so on basically right so this basically uh, gives the uh, metadata value how to get a sequence number from this sequence so this is a syntax or a select query saying select next value this is important next value for my sequence so this is my sequence right so get my next value for the uh, sequence uh, my sequence that is uh, you know the sequence we created so when i execute this you can see initially it generated number one if i again execute this two three four five six and so on so it will keep generating until it reaches to 10,000 once it reaches to 10,000 as we have provided a cycle clause also it will again start from one okay so this was the sequence in ascending order similarly you can uh, create a sequence in descending order so here what we are saying again the same thing we are specifying the sequence name but here now we are saying start with thousand right and increment by minus one see here we are saying please increment by minus one means we are actually decreasing one value now minimum value should be one and maximum value is my ten thousand uh, again right so it will start from thousand and then it will reach until minimum value that is one again cycle and cash okay let us see this now if i if i execute this query you can see it has started from thousand then it is it has decrement by one so 99 998 997 996 995 994 and so on okay so this is this way you can create a sequence object in ascending order and descending order okay let us see 
how it works and what error is generates when you you know create a sequence without a cycle okay so let me again generate this sequence now here what we have done again same starting with one increment by one here we have specified maximum value only 10 so that you know we can actually create an error and here you can see the cycle word is missing which means the default is no cycle okay so what it will happen what will happen that whenever it will reaches 10 and after that if you start you know if you try to create a next sequence then it will uh, provide an error it will create an error let us see so let me first create this sequence okay now i'm taking value so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 right so now our maximum value was 10 so until 10 it 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 worked perfectly now when i execute again to create an 11th it will say the sequence object my sequence has reached its maximum minimum or maximum value restart the sequence object to allow new values to be generated correct got the point so when you provide no cycle what happens that when it reaches to a maximum value basically right it will if you try to create a, a next value it will create an error because we have uh, specified no cycle okay now let us see let's move ahead and let us see how to attach this sequence to a table okay so i have a table here i am let me first drop it and i am creating the table simple table with employee id uh, you know integer and employee name where care now while inserting the values into the employee table right for employee id what we are saying get my next value from my sequence now this is my sequence okay we will again create it because it has already reached to the uh, no, uh, maximum value but we are saying that okay generate next value from my sequence and the employee name similarly for the second value next value from my sequence and employee name let me first create this sequence okay and now if you can see so currently there are no records in a table if i execute this insert statement two records would be generated and if you see again one and two if i again execute it then three and four if i again execute it five and six if i execute seven and eight right so if you can see all the eight records had been generated if i again execute this nine and ten and now if i execute try to execute see the sequence object again the same error right so it generated the sequence until one to ten okay let me again refresh this sequence okay now how to use the default you know you can use uh, the sequence into the while creating a table as a default value also so here you can see i am now i am generating a create, create table employee one right where employee id integer and then here itself i am saying default what should be the default then it should be a next value from my sequence next value is the keyword which will generate a next value for your sequence so i am saying next value from my sequence and employee name where care 50 okay so if i generate this again if i generate this table and if you see currently there is no now here while insert we are not specifying anything we are just inserting the value for employee name because we have a default value uh, generating a sequence uh, you know a number employee id from my sequence so if i execute this record uh, 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 statement uh, where you know i am inserting three records rakesh jignesh and mitesh if i execute this three records will be generated and you can see one two and three got the point so this way you can use you know uh, the sequence uh, with default right you can use the sequence in your uh, uh, default for table also now as i told you that sequence is as a on a database as whole it's not that you know uh, what you can say uh, attached to a table okay it is nothing it is not that it is attached to a table it is as a database as a whole so let us understand this let me first create the sequence back okay now there is one thing see cannot drop sequence this because it is being referenced so why why it is showing me right see uh, when i try to drop the sequence it is showing me that it is being used because we have actually used this as a default so whenever the sequence is used in a default column right as a default value then you know you would not able to drop that okay so for that we will have to drop this table first so we say drop table if exist employee one okay let us drop this okay and now 
uh, we would create a sequence back so sequence is created i am dropping this table also employee and employee one so both the tables have been dropped now i am you know creating employee table and i am creating employee one table right so if you can see the currently there are no records into my employee and employee one okay so what i am doing first first of all i am inserting two records in my employee table okay so which means what two 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 sequence number generated one and two for my employee table now i'm inserting three records into my employee one table so now you can see two one and two were generated for employee and now one and two would be three four five would be generated for employee one which shows that you know sequence is not attached to a table but it is a whole as a whole on a database so now if i again generate the records into my employee table then you can see it would be like six and seven okay so basically you know it will keep incrementing sequence is a standalone object it will keep incrementing when you use the next value from my uh, for my sequence uh, de not depending upon any table or any database objects clear hope you have uh, understood this uh, sequence object and uh, you know uh, practice as much as possible to understand it in a better way you know uh, research more on this right guys okay so thanks a lot for joining this once again you know subscribe to my channel so that whenever i uh, you know uh, insert new videos or create new videos you will get uh, the notification immediately and also don't forget to like and share this uh, videos with your colleagues and friends okay so let's meet you next time with the next good topic till then bye take care